All right, so we're going to start. Umer is the first one to come up. Um, he says, if you have a client with multiple GMBs for different states with branded profiles and citations, as well as location pages, would it help to also get some extra citations to the location page for, like, for example, injury lawyer, Miami, business name, and point the citation profile to the inner location page? Or would this cause issues with the main branded citations for the service areas that have GMBs? Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Um, I mean, if you can find the types of citations that don't require street addresses, uh, well, then again, it's if it's going to be a different city, then uh, I would avoid that. I really would. You can just do traditional link building to those pages, and you should be fine. And when I say traditional link building, I mean links with relevance, either topical or geographic relevance. Remember, geographic links has a significant influence on local, even in local um, organic search. Like the a, a link with geographic relevance is more of a maps play than it is an organic play, but it certainly has an influence on organic as well. There is no question about it. Um, I've been, been doing some testing recently with just using geographic links to push organic rankings, and I'm seeing results from that, which means there's no topical relevance from the link at all. It's just that it's a link coming from a blog that is relevant by in terms of geography and that it's uh, it's got a backlink profile with other lo backlinks from local sources pointing to it already. And so for those types of posts, we don't like publish a new post onto that blog that then is about whatever topic we need it to be about, because that would be out of place. It wouldn't fit into that blog. What we do is just a block quote insertion in just some random post on the blog that says, hey, the team at our blog at our the team, you know, the team at our blog would like to thank company name for their support. Uh, or we would like to thank company name for the, their support of our blog. If you need products or services in city contact company name and if there's name address phone number map embed and an anchor text link and boom that's how we insert um a link and a mention for something unrelated into a post that has that's on a blog that has geographic relevance and what i found is that in recent tests that i've been doing with a lot of these local lead gen sites that i'm producing which are just organic only assets at least initially until we get a client and then we um then we add a gbp to it uh, but I've been doing testing with geographic links, which I've got damn near 1400 blogs now, geographic blogs, guys. <laughs> I've got almost, I've got about 1800 blogs in total right now. And about 1400, 1350 of them are um, geographic blogs. So blogs with local relevance. And uh, that's, I've been, I've, I've invested well over hundred K in building those. <laughs> and it's because I want to be able to do that and rank clients and for the DHA program and everything else, we're going to have geographic links available, at least mostly in the U.S., but um, specifically because I'm finding that the links with geographic relevance are really producing a, a good result, both in maps and organic. Um, so again, that I, I would I would say traditional link building, but when I say traditional link building, I mean links with relevance. And I, I wouldn't try to mess with the citation stuff. That's, that's a different type of link. And that could affect NAP or cause location ambiguation. So you'd be careful with that. 